so I just got home and changed into some joggers and this jumper. This jumper is actually part of Carmen's collection, which is from Goose and Gander. But basically tonight I have to get so much done. Like I have so much schoolwork to do. So tonight is gonna be a very productive night. But basically on nights like these, when I have like loads of stuff to get done, I always write a to-do list. That is going to be the first thing I do just to make sure I have everything I need to do written down. So I basically always make my to-do list using Notion, which is why I'm so happy to say that this video is also sponsored by Notion. Oh my God, Notion has literally been like a lifesaver for me. It's honestly so good. You can do so much on Notion. If you sometimes feel like your life is getting so out of hand and you have so many things to remember, Notion is so good for just like organizing yourself. For me, it's literally a massive time saver and just helps me be so much more productive. So if you are looking for some motivation and a burst of productivity, I strongly recommend downloading Notion. But what I also love about Notion is that it's customizable so you can literally like tailor it to exactly what you want to use Notion for. A lot of you guys have also been asking for a little Notion tour. So I thought I'd give you guys a quick little a brief Notion tour during this video. So when I first got onto my Notion, I have a daily page. This is the page I basically refer back to every single morning. On here, I just have a little checklist of like major important things I need to do this week. And then every time I need to write a to-do list that day, I'll write that under the to do today section. And I also have my morning and night, what I call non-negotiables, or just things I try to do basically every morning and every night. And then if I scroll down the daily page, I also have a little basic my week planner. So on here, I won't go too in depth of each day, but just a few key things I need to remember for each day. And then the next page I have is just called life. And then at the top of this page, I have a habit tracker, a reading list, finance list, and then just some goals I have for that year. And then I have this photo of me and my friend when we went to get sushi and also a little calendar, which I basically plan my whole life on. And then under that, I also have a page for things I want. If you can't really guess what that is, then it's literally just a page filled with like wish lists just to fuel my shopping addiction. Then I have some cooking recipes. Every time I see a nice cooking recipe, I add it to there. Under work and creativity, this is basically all my social media stuff. So I have a little goal section where my current goal is to hit 200K subscribers. And then I have pages for my three main social media platforms, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. I also have a page for dream brands I want to work with. And then on the TikTok workshop page, there's basically just a bunch of notes I took down from a workshop I went to. And finally on this page, I have a social media timeline so whenever i have like brand deal collaborations or videos that are due in i'll try write them in on there and finally my last page is school whenever i have a set of tests coming up i'll basically start writing my checklist on notion so here you can see when i had my mocks i made a little subject checklist and then on each subject i made a little checklist of the points i need to cover and i also included some resources that i can go to but yeah as you can probably tell i'm literally like in love with notion and you can sign up with notion using the link in the description Chasing butterflies in Pasadena Tossy shells to the blue Like a drive gelato to you I know you're ready, I'm cute If Starlink was built by midnight There'd be no strife Take a slow ride I got no sign of the future If the stars right Then there's you here Okay, so apart from this little corner, which is basically just a bunch of packages, the rest of my room is pretty tidy. But now I'm actually going to be starting revision because I need to stop procrastinating and just do it. So when I revise, I do like to do it in like larger chunks and then take breaks. So I normally work for about 50 minutes and then take a five to 10 minute break and then carry on. And I'm going to start with Islam. I have an RE GCSE in literally three weeks. So I'm stressing out just a little bit. I really made most of my notes. I'm just gonna be going over them and then testing myself and then also doing some practice questions. Okay, so I basically just started a flow diagram to show the stages of Hajj. And then I also annotated the importance of it and 
how it has an effect on Muslims. And then on this third of the page, I'm basically just gonna go into more in depth of the effects of Hajj. So that if this question were to come up in an exam, I'd be able to put the impacts it has on Muslims and the importance of it and stuff. But yeah, I now get to tick that off my to-do list. I love the feeling of ticking off stuff from my to-do list because it makes me feel so much better about actually doing it. It's now a little later in the evening, so the lighting is getting a little bit worse. I'm currently just taking a little study break. I've made myself some tea. Also, I love tea. Like, tea is so good. I feel like as a community, we don't appreciate tea enough. But basically, I'm going to finish up with Islam there because I've been doing so much Islam revision recently that I feel like I need to... Let it settle into my brain for a bit. And then I think I'm gonna start some biology because I have a biology test on Monday. It's on like DNA and DNA structure and stuff. And I'm super busy this weekend. So I'm gonna try and do most of my revision for this tonight. But at the same time, it's literally only a topic test. So I'm sort of just gonna skim through my book a bit and then maybe do some Seneca quizzes. But yeah, I can't lie. Most of my revision, if it's not an important test, I sort of do on bus journeys or in bed. I'll just like look through my book and make sure I understand most of the content. Okay, so for dinner tonight, I was planning on making a chickpea poke bowl, but basically my parents were going out for a meal tonight and they brought me back a little takeaway for dinner. It's from this like local restaurant that I love um, and they brought me back their vegan burger, which is so good. But yeah, I'm gonna munch on this. I'm so hungry, you guys don't even understand. Look how good that looks. Okay, I'm now in the bathroom and I put my dressing gown on. It's literally one of my favorite things. I wear this dressing gown way too often. But for now, I'm gonna take off my makeup and clean my teeth. Okay, ignore the pseudocrem on my spot, but I'm not joking, pseudocrem literally works magic on your spots. But the last part of my day, which I'm going to do, is just journal for a bit. I've said this before, but I normally just do it on my phone. And I'm also gonna watch a bit of Netflix just to reward myself for the revision I've done tonight. I literally cannot wait for summer when I have no revision to do. Like, I'm actually so excited. But I do hope this video gave you a bit of motivation to study, especially if you're in year 11 revising for GCSEs. But yeah, as I said, I'm just gonna use Dalio to do my little daily journaling. I basically just write out whatever I think before I go to bed so I don't sleep with like loads of thoughts around my head because otherwise I find it like so hard to sleep if I'm constantly thinking about something. But yeah, after I've done this, I'm probably gonna head to sleep. As I've said, I am so tired if you can't tell. But I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to check out Notion using the link in the description and I hope you guys have an amazing week.